Owie brain hurts? What the heck is is this title? You said it yourself. My brain hurts! Ow. In my short time on YouTube, I have released a few videos that explore real life things in a way that might be helpful to people. I've talked about the fear of running out of time. I've talked about my late autism diagnosis. Today, I'm turning the tables. Now you can try and tell me something about my psyche. Or just give me wrong answers only, that would be kind of funny. Basically, I'm pulling a Bo Burnham's inside right now. How about I sit on the couch and I watch you this time? Why don't you Google your problems or ask an actual therapist, Owie? Because that's not nearly as fun, is it? Shut up. Also, it's neat to relate to people. Some of you are inevitably going to relate to me on some of these things I'm about to say. Let our brains hurt together. Problem number one, I can't help but think about the end of things. No, no, not my own mortality. We, we don't have time to unpack that fear. But it's more like, I recently got some flowers as a congratulations for hitting 100,000 subscribers. Hee <laughs> hee, look what arrived. And rather than enjoying the lovely flowers, I found myself preempting the flowers wilting and worrying about not enjoying them enough before they die. And then when the flowers did start to go bad, I decided I was going to press and dry some out so that they would keep. And then I realized I was kind of huffing copium by doing that. I was trying to hold on to them for longer rather than being okay with letting them go. That's f***ing deep. I find myself doing this with experiences too. Every time I go on vacation, my brain does something like, you are away for five days and it's been two days, so we're not quite halfway through the vacation yet, but tomorrow you'll be over halfway through and you're closer to going home than you are to the start of this break. And I end up kind of internally sucking the joy out of everything. And don't even get me started on the lifespan of animals. My cat is about 11 years old, which makes him a senior cat. And sometimes I look at him and panic for a second thinking that he has stopped breathing. He is breathing every time he's breathing. I do this at least once a week, I am torturing myself. How do people with small rodents with a short lifespan manage that fear? Don't rats and stuff live for only two years? Thoughts? Help? Problem number two is that I make so much mess and I don't know how to stop doing it. Two demons live in my brain. One is autism, which enjoys structure and organization. The other is ADHD, which wants chaos and impulsivity. I am in a perpetual loop of making messes and then getting stressed to all the clutter and then tidying it away only for it to be a mess again after a few days. Putting things away doesn't occur to me. It's like my bedroom falls apart around me. I don't even remember how things got where they are. I remember seeing someone on TikTok say, don't put the item down, put it away. I've also seen people say, if something takes less than a minute to do, just do it right now. But the thing is, the making mess doesn't feel like a choice I am making. I just do it. I don't realize I'm doing it. So how do I intercept that? Any ideas? My third problem is I am unable to go to bed early. Brain doesn't do it. Wish it would. I'd love to be someone who is super tired and ready to sleep at 11 and then wake up readily at, I don't know, half seven? But it looks more like sleeping at 1am at the moment. I can probably count all of the times that I've fallen asleep before 12am in the last year on one hand. I think part of it is because I live with other people and for whatever reason, I don't want to go to bed before they do. Maybe I'm worried that they'll make noise and wake me up. Although to be honest, they'll probably make more noise when they are actually asleep, as shown in this short I made. I find I can sleep earlier if I'm not home or if I'm alone. And even then it's so infrequent that I feel impressed if I'm laying my phone down before 11.30. I'm wondering if it's it's an autism related demand avoidance thing. Maybe if I don't feel observed, I feel more able to move freely. I want to pry apart my brain with my fingers, like digging into a pack of minced beef. Pressure wash it or something. Shed the bag. Do you relate at all? I can't be the only one, I'm sure of it. I don't really remember ever seeing anyone talk about these things though, so how about we talk about it? By the way, I have merch now. Check it out. Got stickers and t-shirts and magnets and pillows and all sorts of things. I upload videos every two to three weeks or so, and it won't be long until I see you again. Thanks for being here. Bye.